Some of you were probably wondering in this week's Raw review why the hell I didn't talk about the Bray Wyatt Finn Balor segment. Number one, because it was lame as hell and I didn't want to talk about it. Number two, at this point in time, both of the guys are lame as hell and I didn't really want to talk about them. And number three, the whole premise of the segment was incredibly ridiculous, dumb, pointless, and everything that perfectly encapsulates, sorry old dust, this Finn Balor Bray Wyatt feud that will just never end. We have nothing else to do, so we drag this out till it never ends. But the big revelation by Bray Wyatt on Raw Monday night is that after all of this and all of that, we're now finally getting it. Sister Abigail is coming to WWE. Sister Abigail, that's right. The thing that many of you have waited a long time to see is finally happening, to which my definitive reaction is after all this time, now we're finally going to go down the Sister Abigail route. When there is no Wyatt family, when Bray Wyatt hasn't really truly been relevant in a couple of years now, and his character has been in an awkward type of weird limbo created by the WWE and their stupidity over the past several years. This whole thing about Sister Abigail would have made a lot more sense to happen when there was actually a Wyatt family with Harper and Rowan specifically and when Bray Wyatt was actually really over outside of when the lights go down we turn on our cell phones and they're freaking fireflies. This is too little and too damn late. This is about three years too damn late. In my opinion, if you are excited about Sister Abigail with Bray Wyatt, you are really reaching for straws here. You are desperate for a reason to give a crap about Bray Wyatt. And that is fine and that is okay. But even then and still, the whole premise of this entire feud was to introduce Sister Abigail or she's going to end up being the most important thing. At this point in time, what you needed to do with Bray Wyatt is something completely entirely different than his same cookie cutter chicken shit heel crap type of character with the rambling insane nonsensical promos, the same lights going out, the same pre-recorded crap, the I'm here. There were so many things you've needed to do for so long to refine the character, modify the character, update the character, change the character, to increase its relevancy, to do something different with him. But after all of this time, over what, four freaking years now, we are still trying to force him down everybody's throats as a villain. We are still trying to do the same type of crap with him. We have done nothing different with him. And I'm sorry, you could put the WWE Championship on him 30 goddamn times and Bray Wyatt wouldn't matter. And what's really fucked up about all of this is like Bray Wyatt should have like this in eternal respect from so many of this. I mean, he was boning JoJo. He went where the raging ring boner went before, and he's been able to continue to do it. I mean, she wants to go on a beard ride and every damn thing. He said, fuck the marriage. I'm going to fuck JoJo, who looks better than pretty much every goddamn woman on the roster, which is true. Like, he should have went from the eater of pins to the eater of puss, the stuffer of muff, the grabber of ass, the liquor of clit, so many other things. But Bray Wyatt has been made so inherently uninteresting, lame-ass, and boring by the WWE that it doesn't even matter. Just like this whole thing with Sister Abigail doesn't matter, and this whole storyline, like right now, the storyline of 2017 for WWE, the feud, I should say, of 2017, is clearly Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman. On the flip side to me, the dumbest, biggest waste of space, worst program of 2017 is this Bray Wyatt versus Finn Balor crap. Bray beats the guy without any face paint, then dumps paint on him as an excuse for the demon to come out, 
But mind you, they technically wrestled before SummerSlam when they were f supposed to wrestle at SummerSlam. So we had to hotshot that shit just so that way we had an excuse for Finn Balor to come out in the fucking face and body paint for his entrance at SummerSlam. Because again, we it's one of the two things that he actually has that are interesting, the body paint in the entrance. And once it happens, it is over. Who gives a crap? To then, we're still continuing to feud over face paint to where Bray Wyatt is wiping face paint off of old dust to now it's about ooh the face paint it's the man and now here comes sister abigail she never lied to me she never lied to me she never lied to me well the one thing i try my best to do is never lie to you never lie to you never lie to you bray wyatt hasn't mattered in several freaking years bray wyatt's character freaking sucks now thanks a lot wwe for that Everything they're doing with this guy is freaking wrong. Instead of trying to change shit up and shake shit up in the right way, they're continuing to go down the same nonsensical path of bullshit because that's what the WWE does. Hashtag WWE ruins everything. Now we're going to sit there two and a half to three years too goddamn late to bring in a sister Abigail, who, by the way, reportedly isn't even the person that would make the most logical, sensible fit as sister Abigail, which is Paige. I don't like the bitch, and I'm okay with her not being on television, but if you're gonna do it, do it right. And you got some other heifer? I don't give a damn who this heifer is. This whole thing is fucking stupid. And you know I'm right. They took a guy like Bray Wyatt, who could have been different and could have been so fundamentally interesting. One of the real things that we had to look forward to each week and quickly made him into another irrelevant mid-carder stuck in that eternal cycle of not progressing or going any freaking where. Stick him in crappy stories that have incredibly ridiculous premises just so that way he can act all types of stupid but not in a logical way. He can sit there and laugh way too often like, what the fuck is so funny, dude? Unless you just caught a whiff of JoJo's muff on the rebound from your freaking beard, then I get it. You're like, <laughs> I ate that puss last night. It is too little, too late with Sister Abigail. I don't give a crap if you're excited for it. That's fine. Don't expect me to, and don't expect me to come to the, come on these videos and for you to come to watch these videos and expect for me to sit there and tell you while I'm peeing on your leg that it's raining. This shit sucks. It's stupid. Who gives a crap? The whole premise of this entire Wyatt Balor story has been freaking stupid. And the fact now that we're using this as an excuse way too goddamn little, way too damn late to bring in Sister Abigail just as yet again an example of how hashtag WWE ruins everything. This is dumb. Consider me in the not giving a crap category. If you do, great, but don't expect me to, and really, I'm surprised that you would at this point.